Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori and today we are starting a new series where we review free Steam games. Uh, it was actually my son's idea. He asked me to download some games for him so that he could review them on his channel. Uh, and it looked like fun. I thought it was a great idea so I thought I would try it on my channel. If you see a game that you like that you'd like to see me play more of, make sure to let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, the game we're playing today is called Feria and it is a trading card game with a twist. Build lands and summon creatures to attack your enemy. Destroy their orb to win. Got it. Welcome to Feria. I'm Fugaro, your friendly. Stop running, frog boy. Ag, help me, I'll give you a reward. My turn. So this is the tutorial. Build land towards your enemy. Build here. I can build any of those. Click to pass your turn. Three Feria. I can summon a creature. So she had three Feria. I hope hope you're ready for pain. I am. So I have three Feria too. Which is going to allow me to summon a creature. Costs this much fairy to play, my prairie yak. Attack deals this much damage in fights. Life takes this much damage to kill. So, this is how much damage it does, this is how much it takes to kill. Got it. Got it. You'll need lands to summon your yak. He wants me to go here and here. Click your yak. Summon it here. And then end your turn. So. He's got his savage. Creatures must wait one turn before attacking. He's got... She's got a savage horseman. I've got a prairie yak. Attack! Boom! So he killed himself on my yak. Cause he did a lot of damage but had a low health. Oh, I have a cutthroat bandit and she just put a cutthroat bandit out. Crush that bandit so we can counterattack. With my prairie yak. Boom! It's gonna take them both out. Holy yak. So it wants me to go here and here. And I can go all the way to here. That's the end of my turn. Okay, she got three fairy. I don't know how she's getting fairy. It's my turn, because she can't attack with her first turn. Ooh, Steamforge Enforcer. Look at that. Okay, wants me to do this. Move in and attack directly. Boom. I won. Okay, that was easy enough. First victory. Char lost. Reverend won. Okay. Balhar. Mission. Complete these missions to unlock your powers. Untip unspent fairy is safe for next turn. So, I'm starting with two cards this time. Creatures can gather extra fairy from wells. Got it. So he's going to put out his Savage Horseman. I will control all four fairy wells. No. I think not. Get your farm boy to this well. Go farm boy, go! You'll <laughs> one one farm boy. And turn. Unspent fairy is saved for your next turn. Okay. Horsemen, gather Feria. 
farm boy, gather feria. <laughs> Ooh, I got a walking fortress. Look at that thing. That is sweet. Whoops, I left the stove on. Mind finishing this fight alone? Thanks. Okay, so I got a 6-5 and a 6-10. Well, I can play my 6-5. I'm going to put him here so I can get Faria next turn. Oh, end turn. Please don't attack me. He's putting out a warrior. Low damage, high defense. And don't you dare steal our Faria. So I should get Faria from two sources this time. Which gave me five Faria. I got another Prairie Yak. That's my Prairie Yak. Two, four... I'm going over that way. And I can move him only one? What determines how far I can move? I can put this guy out anywhere. Put him there. I wanted to move that guy there. Oh, that cost me Faria to do that, though. Oh, he's moving in on me. But she can't attack this turn. Now why... Ooh, he's got a card that let him draw two cards. Is this everybody that's in play? Oh, this is every card that's been played, it looks like. Event cards can only be used once. Choose carefully. Deal one damage to a creature. Well, why don't I kill that? Boom. Whoa. And then I'll do that. Boom. Do I still get to keep going? And I can move my yak up? Is that right? So now I'm getting, like, Faria from all the three of the sources. And how close do I have to be to get it? Do I just have to be connected to it? Horseman. So now I should be pulling from three different wells so I can put my fatty out. So I can go to any of my open spots. Where can this guy move to? He can move one, it looks like. How far can that guy move? One. And he could move one. And put that there. Put that there. I'm gonna move my fortress out there. Bam! That thing is a beast. And turn. And he gets to draw two cards. So I must... I attacked on this turn. Cross swords. I've got ten Faria. See, now can I put this guy here? And challenge there? that guy up. I'm going to move that guy back so I can keep controlling that Faria source. And we'll attack with this guy. Um, I guess I could have put my Prairie Yak out too. End turn.
throat band. And a savage horseman, so he put two out. So he's going to attack me directly. Mace man. Four, four, and a two, four. So I can attack that dude. Okay. Well, let's, um, fill in that and that. Let's attack here. And take that guy down. We'll attack here. Take that guy down. We'll move up one. Let's we'll leave that guy there. Let's hold on to that prairie yak. Okay, well, I think we're going to win this pretty easily. He's putting out a savage horseman. Give creature plus one, plus one. Oh, but he's blocking me here. Let's, let's fill in the rest of the board. So we've got a bunch of squares. Give a creature plus one, plus one. I'm going to hold that for now. I'm going to kill this guy. Boom. Oh, I should have put my prairie yak here. Because then if I'm on this square, then he can't drop a guy directly on me. Get that guy. Oh, I should have gave him plus one, plus one. Oh, okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm just going to leave my farm boy in my turn. So every time they take damage, they don't regen health. I guess with the campfire, I could regen health. Oh, what did I get? Give Falcon Dive deal one damage to a creature. Well, let's kill that. Bam! He's got a bunch of cards, but not a lot of Feria. We got a lot of Feria, but not a bunch of cards. Move that guy there. Move that guy there. I guess we better start moving everything up. We'll block him there so he can't direct attack me directly. Oh, it's going to let me attack him? Okay, well, we're just going to win then. All right. Victory! Jalmir Puzzle! Okay, so this is a puzzle. What did it say? When this turn to solve... Oh, when in one turn. Creatures with haste can attack immediately. <laughs> so... I feel like if I'm within two squares, I can attack. So if I go here, and then give my creature plus one, plus one. Oh, so I picked up the Feria on the way. And then I can attack. Because I'm... It's interesting. You can only move one, but you can move and attack. Oh, I had haste. Is that what allowed me to do that? I don't know. I don't quite get it. Puzzle number two. Tip, build land near your opponent's orb. That's a good tip. 
Okay, win this, win this turn. So we got another guy with haste. You can build lands next to an enemy land if you have a creature on it. Got it. Move farm, farm boy onto an enemy land. Okay. And then I'm going to build. Boom, boom. And then my person with haste goes in. And then they attack. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Puzzle solved. They're just teaching us little tricks. Little tricks. We'll see if we can remember them and use them. Versus. So I'm starting with three fairy, huh? It's gonna let me put a farm boy out. My power comes from forest. Mm, look at he's cool looking. We're cool looking too. Okay. So first things first, we want to capture our fairy spot. So we can. It's, I think of it in terms of mana, but. Area. No, intern. So we can power our abilities, power our cards. Forest, let him play more powerful cards. Your turn. Yeah, uh, some cards require special lands to be played. Got it. So this deep wood grizzly has to have one um, forest on the board. I'm going to put it there. Forest creatures can be summoned on forests. Gosh, maybe I should have put it there. Oh well. I don't think it matters that much. So we got a sweet bear. End turn. Okay, so there's one forest land out there. Thorn Wisp. Whenever you create a forest, gain plus one plus zero. Each turn you can make either one special land or two neutral lands. He's going to create two forests at random. That's a sweet card. So now this guy is three, three. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, he needs five forests. Theory and Gollum. That guy's sweet. But I feel like three, six. I feel like I want to capture, gosh, I want to get in here, but I also want to capture that. Hmm. I don't know what the better play is, but I'm going over here and drop that guy there, 3-6, and end my turn. I want a card that lets me pop up two forests at random. So now he can put his cutthroat bandit out. My turn. Okay. I like that steam forge guy. Okay, I'm gonna try and get up this way. I'll guard with that bear. I don't know if I want to put anyone out right now. So what I want to do is get up in here. We'll see if he stops me. If you want to know what a card does, mouse over it. Got it. So he's putting out a warrior. Thorn wisp. Fair dare and force. So does it have to be did there have to be five woods out there? Or does he have to be played on a wood? I can't remember now. Oh shoot. That's not what I meant to do. So I should have put a forest there and then I could have dropped him right there. 
It's okay. I feel strong. I'm gonna end my turn right there. So if he doesn't cover that with a forest, I'm gonna be able to hit him directly next time. I'm gonna drop a forest there if he doesn't. So he's dropping another one of those guys out. What's that? Give a creature plus two plus two. Well, first things first. I'm dropping that out. So I can drop that guy out. Oh, but he doesn't have haste. So I can't use him the first turn. None of them have haste. Follow it up with that guy. Put. Oh, I don't have. Why can't I put Tiki Caretaker on my bear? I'll take that guy out. I'll end my turn. So he's moving back to defend, but it's too little, too late, I think. You and each creature gain plus three life. Wow, nice card. Now, I have two forests, so why can't I play this Tiki Caretaker? I don't understand. seven it's a living willow it's like a wall this enemy has taunt so I have to attack it creatures next to taunting enemies must stay and fight oh it killed my thing so do I have to yeah it's forcing me to attack that willow it's fine I'll move up to there Put a forest down here. Put. Oh, Tiki Caretaker. Give a creature plus two. I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to play it here. Oh, so it's a 1-1, one, one, and it's going to give a creature plus 2, plus 2, and it's it was true. I did I had to put it on a forest. I didn't quite get that. I didn't quite understand that. So campfire. Let's just make that guy huge. We'll see why not. And I still I can't play those guys yet. So now I should be getting Feria from all four of the wells. Oh, except for he grabbed that one. It's not going to be enough to stop me, though. I'm about to wreck him. Bonk. Okay. There you go. Victory. So, it's getting more and more interesting. And is this our, looks like our last mission. There are four colors in Feria. Each color has its own land type. Okay, Reverend versus Ryzen. Good luck. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Last words. Create a lake, forest. Create a lake, forest, mountain, and a desert at random. It's the cartographer. 
So this give a creature plus two plus four requires two forests. So it looks like lake, forest, mountain, desert are the four biomes. Hmm. Farm boy, we always start with a farm boy. So this is like a, when you can play directly, I think. No, because it's like the one before, but it doesn't say what its strength is down there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to start there so we can get our feria. And let's see this. So he's going to get three feria. Do you get three feria no matter what? Deal one damage to a creature. Okay, so when he killed that... And gave one of each. And he's mastered all four elements. And he has 30 health. Be careful, I always lose to this Jerk. Okay, so I got six Feria. So I think because I controlled that, each one of these is going to give me three. So I had three, and then that gave me another three, I think. Well, I'm going to start by controlling... The Feria again. Oh, so he's got there one of each land and three forests. Draw five cards. What? My mind is infinite, he says. Your mind. My turn. Falcon die, deal one damage to a creature. So he's just getting lands out there. Alright, I need to start building some forests, I feel like. Slaughtering Shadow 6-1. It's a hard hitter. Your death comes from the desert. So did he have to be on a desert? Yeah. Gift. Deal two damage to your, your opponent. Okay, I get it. I think what I do, want to do is go 1, 2, and then put my forest out, and then drop that guy in. I think I'm just going to take that guy down. I maybe should have saved that. But I got lots of Faria. So I just went ahead and spent it. Keep it burn. Keep him light. Deal 10 damage to all your enemies' pathetic creatures. What? And he put a slaughtering shadow out. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I that I waited. What's this? You can now draw, either draw a card or gain one fairy instead of making lands. When does that happen? Got it. So I'm glad I kind of waited on that. Deal two damage to your opponent. Let's put him out here. And you just, boom, auto deals two damage. Let's put a yak here. And turn. If these two battle, they'll kill each other. Is he going to drop a slaughtering shadow there? He is. Your turn. Ooh, I got a deep wood grizzly for you. Okay, I can attack him directly. 
So let's give this guy plus two, plus four, and hit him directly. Bonk. That doesn't, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have played my Grizzly. Where's my undo? I'm going to take that one back. So I can play land or gain fairy or gain a card. I want a card. Deal one damage to a creature, and I'll take that to do that. Boom. Okay, that worked out in my favor. This ends now, he says. Last words, reduce its master to one. This creature has last words. Reduces its master to one life. So if I kill it, he goes down to one life. You need to kill that spirit. <laughs> spirit of the Nexus. Gift. Give it creature plus two plus two. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Tiki Caretaker out. I'm going to gift this guy. That's going to give me enough to kill this guy, which is, I mean, it's the tutorial, so they're setting it up so I can win. No, what have you done? So that brings him down to one life. Let's put that out there and my turn. I can drop a bear on there next turn. Draw five cards. It's not going to be enough, brother. Oh, you can only hold how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can only hold nine cards in your hand. So he lost two there. Well, I'm going to kill him this way. Most impressive. Okay. We did it. Is that the end of the tutorial? Congratulations, you have unlocked the main interface of Faria. Let's start by creating your first deck. Got it. Alright, so pointing up here. Deck creation. New deck. This is a formula. Use it to create decks. A deck in a few seconds. Two farm boys, two falcon, falcon duck. Farm boy, falcon dive, villagers. Oh, two of each of these. Harness the strength of the forest and support your army of humans with extra health and mobility. Establish a foothold near a fairy well, then dash toward the orb. So this this is the deck I've been playing. I think village elder. I haven't seen him. Imperial guard, Cylind horse master, Cylind warrior, steam forge enforcer, prairie yak. So two ones, a t two threes, five, six, eight. Ancient beast master, who created? So we got the green starter deck. Now go back. Let's try. Go try your deck in a game. Play. Let's do some more missions. Welcome to missions. Complete them to level up and gain more cards. Got it. There's my reward. Training mission pack. Run. So is that what I'm going to win? Or is that what I'm playing with my green starter deck? Runin is the ancient undying guardian of the forest. Alright, Runin. Prepare to get ruined. <laughs> All right, you play second. Why? Seed sower creates an adjacent foreign if a random seed sower. Confirm. Do I have any other option? All right. Well, I'm not loving my draw. I'll go first. Fine, that means I get one, I get the explore card, create a prairie and gain two. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, so I can now I can create any lands or I can draw, get a feria, 
This guy cost me zero. Well, let's put him there. Gosh, I don't know if that's the best move. And let's put... These guys here and here. I mean, that was a tough draw. They need six Feria to activate. Behold my structure. The first creature you summon per turn gains plus one, plus one. So he got the Tiki Totem out there. Oh, that's sweet. How do I destroy that? I gotta go kill it. I need to attack that structure. Thanks. Yeah, I realize I need to attack that structure. Alright, it's already harder than the than the tutorials were. Gosh, I do need to get a forest out there for these guys. Creates an adjacent forest at random. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna summon this guy. Uh, it's not really where I wanted the forest, but what are you gonna do? Draw two cards. My turn. Okay, taunt. Last words. Gain two life. Okay, I'm going to put him there so I can get that fairy, huh? We're trying to get to that tiki structure as fast as we can. That's smart. He blocked that off. A random friendly creature gains plus two plus four. Last words gain two life. Does that mean I gain two life? Okay, so you can move and attack in a turn. What I want is for a forest to be generated, right? Oh, it has to be on a forest. Do I have anybody with haste? No, that guy had... Oh, that guy had taunt. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, and I want to... So these guys would be 1-1, one, one, but they're coming out as 2-2s two, because of his um, charge 3. Does that mean they can move 3? Let's start by killing that Tiki thing. And let's get that guy out there. We'll give this guy charge 3. What? Charge three, moves up to three space in a straight line. So I think I might have wasted that, unfortunately. All right. So I could have used that to get across the map real quick. Your turn. You have a creature plus two plus two. Yeah, I totally did waste that. So let's go in and do some damage. And let's put that guy there so we can get some some juice going. 
want that square. Okay, but it doesn't, now it doesn't matter so much because I've got land where I need it. I'm gonna possibly need more forests. So let's put a forest there. What is he? He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, there's his t tiki caretaker. I've got that same guy. Ooh, last words. Bloom sprite. Add a random green card to your hand. It costs three less. Nice. So let's get this guy out here out here. I'll put him there. Give this guy 6-8. Bam! We win. Okay. So we gained an experience. Alright, well I must say I have enjoyed Feria. Um... I hope you enjoyed enjoyed it as well. Go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd kind of like to keep playing it. I might play some more Faria. If you'd like to see me play some more Faria, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So, oh, level three reward, five hundred something, and Death Touch, the Queen's Assassin, one out of three. All right. You received a new card. Let's see how you can add it into your deck. Got it. Oh, sorry. We're not quite done. Edit. Click to remove any card from your deck. That's fine. We'll remove that. Now click this card to add it to your deck. Save. And then we'll go back. All right. Well, like I said, thanks for joining me. Uh, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take it easy.